hello everyone welcome back to same right fashion academy youtube channel for another interesting tutorial so today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make this dress and um, this dress on the thumbnail so in the making of this dress i'm going to start from the scratch to show you what to do and how to go about it so I've made my border lines and I have my shoulder line so this is my center front line and this center front line I'm going to make use of it for the whole dress from the beginning to the desired length so I'm using a small scale uh, drafting for it so for my small scale I will be needing my chest line. I'll be needing my waist line. Okay, so these are the lines we need. I'll be needing my hip line. And I'll be needing my knee line. And my desired length. So I'll use the full pepper as my desired length. So these are the the lines required for the making of this dress so this is chest waist hip knee okay then full length so next i will do is to impute my natural neckline and the shoulder line okay so like i said this is a small scale so you do this on your actual measurements so here comes my neckline and here comes my so I'll take what I have here bring it back here That is my bust circumference and half of this I'll go in by 0 0.75 as usual bring it back here and then flip it back here okay so I'll be imputing my waist circumference that is my actual waist we are making this dress without a dart, okay? So I'm imputing everything actual, actual, without any. So the fabric I'm, um, I'll be using for this dress, if I'm making this dress is exactly uh, the lacra fabric you are seeing there on the thumbnail so i'm imputing all my hip measurement from the hip i just draw a straight line to it so because uh, this is a penciled gown i'll just go in from here by 1.5 and connect can you see so that makes the gown sealed for us so now it's time for us to start up this tutorial proper starting from the beginning so from the beginning we are going to create this neckline and this neckline is connected directly to the waist so I'll come out from my natural neckline by one inch and I'll connect it to the waistline and if you notice at the waistline there are some gathers to it so for that reason I will just come out and extend my neckline my shoulder line I will extend my uh, shoulder line by one and a half inch to accommodate the gathers so it's just a, a slight gathers okay so you might not actually 
notice what happened there. So, but if you look where well, you see a gather, so I'll connect it back. I'm trying to position my pattern ruler. You can see how I did it. The rounded part has to round up here. So the position. So by the time you gather this area, it goes back into the armhole for you. So that is that and now we are done with the upper bodies. It's very simple. So everything we are cutting here, we are cutting two times of it. So we will now come over to this part and we are going to make that design. So there is a design from the knee or you can go one inch above the knee. Okay, and from there you use your, you can freehand it to have that skirt. So now, next we want to do is to make the slash and spread lines to accommodate the, um, we are going to accommodate the gathers, so you can see me slashing and spreading, okay, so just make your slash lines above the new line, I call this one, two, three. So these are the lines I'm going to slash and spread. So by the time I slash and spread it, I'll gather it back to have that dress. So now we are done with this dress. We are going to cut. Then we are going to slash and spread and gather and gather. into the neckline this is the neckline for this dress okay so i'm going to slash and spread these lines see the slash and spread lines so by the time i spread them so the waistline you can cut it and join it back okay but for this class i'm not cutting it i'm not cutting it and um, we'll still get what we want even if you don't cut it so i'm going to place this on fabric now then show you how all right so I have brought my fabric. So, like I said, if you are making this dress, you need a stretchy, uh, lacquer kind of fabric. So you can see. So the fabric I'm using is stretching on this direction, but not on this direction. So the part on this direction will be on the horizontal. So I'll just place my fabric now, and I'll bring in my pattern. I'm going to position the pattern, okay? So this is the upper, upper part of the pattern. So I'm going to keep the upper part of the pattern straight like this. But I'm going to slash and spread this part. So I'll just secure with my pin. And I'll secure with my pin. So I'm just lashing and spreading on the, just as I have, my fabric is not too much. But if you're making yours, you can increase to two inches, to two inches, slash and spread. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to slash according to the fabric I have here. Okay, so just to show you how to go 
about it. So I pin it right here. So I'm going to cut now my slash and spread. I just go ahead and cut. But you'll be adding your uh, seam allowance. I'm not adding any seam allowance, just for demonstration purpose. So once I come out here, I want to make like a notch, okay? So I will know uh, where to gather. So I'll just do this. Okay, so I know why I did this. So I will know where to gather. By the time I get to the machine to gather now. So, but make sure you add your seam allowances, please. I'm just cutting this like this to show you how that part will turn, turn out to be at the end of the day. so now you can see it i've cut it so i'll go to my machine now from here i put my pin for my gathers so i'm going to gather it back to the normal uh, position so how do you know how many to gather to get that you are going to measure Put it together again and measure how many inches you are going to gather back because you are gathering it back into this. So from here to here, I have four and a half. So when I'm gathering this now, I'll gather it to four and a half. Okay. So please expand your gathers more so we'll be able to have exactly. I don't have much fabric there. That is why I used what I have right here. So what I have here, this is my four and a half. I have about four inches to gather back. So I'll go over here, I'll run my gather stitches. From here, I'll run my gather stitches. So let me do that and I'll be back to show you. Now I'm done uh, making my gather stitches. So for this, for the shoulder line, this is it. You just gather it back. Like I said, so if you gather it back, it will come back into the the actual neck um, seam line. So it's just a little gathers. You can see it there, and that little gather. Remember, this is the actual um, measurement. The actual measurement is from here to here, three inches. So you gather it back into three inches. Okay. Can you see? Into three inches. So it will just have a little gather. So by the time you do this on your with your right measurement and add your seam allowance, you of course see the effect. Okay. So the gathers is here. Then coming over here. I'll just gather it to at the center line. So I'm gathering it at four inches. So by the time I gather back to the four inches, which is what we have before we slashed. Remember, we are making two pieces of this. Two pieces of this. So this is it. So by the time you sew the other one to it at the center front, you have that effect. So you can see the effect is there already for you. So please ensure you slash and spread more so you have more gathers. So you can see the gathers by the time you arrange and sew the other pieces, you'll be having what we have on the thumbnail. Can you see that? Alright people, so that is how we come to the end of this tutorial and I believe you learned a lot from this class. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. 
like this video share to family and friends drop a comment on the comment section and your suggestions as well thank you